Uh, one final question about uh, medical reporting organisations. Uh, you say in your report that you certainly you don't accept their role currently in, in the litigation process, but you clearly have some concerns over the costs they introduce. Yes, um, I have been very concerned about the fact that a number of uh, middlemen and others have moved into the personal injuries process and are all drawing their remuneration out of it. Uh, claims management companies, before the event insurers, other referrers, medical reporting organisations and so forth. It seems to me that in respect of all these organisations, it is necessary to look critically and to see whether they add value to the process. In the case of medical uh, reporting organisations, I do accept that on the present evidence, they do add value to the process. Uh, they have brought down the cost of obtaining uh, medical reports. They have negotiated standard fees for medical reports as set out in the MRO agreement, which is summarised in Chapter 22 of my report. Therefore, uh, I, I am not making proposals which would uh, render the operations of medical reporting organisations uneconomic. What I do say, however, is that the performance of these uh, organisations should be kept under close review, and if it turns out in the future uh, that uh, they are adding more cost to the process than they are providing benefit, then in those circumstances uh, reforms should be made uh, in order to uh, deal with that. And I suggest that the appropriate reform might, in that event, be for the rules to provide that on the only fees recoverable for an expert report are the fees properly charged by the, evidence, by the expert as evidenced by an invoice from the expert. However, that is a possible reform in the future. I do not ad ad advocate it at the moment because I accept that medical reporting organisations do currently add value to the process.